I'm Lights, and I'm in bed with Kate Flay, the beautiful Kate Flay. And we're going to ask each other some questions from these lovely in bed with cute cards. Yeah. And then maybe we'll have a pillow fight later, I'm not sure. We, we haven't decided that. It depends what these questions lead. <laughs> so I guess I'll kick it off with the first question for you. Can you fall asleep when you had a fight with someone close to you? Oh, um, no. I can't. I have a lot of trouble falling asleep, period, but I feel like when there's an unresolved tension... It's like um, it's like a wall, building a wall between you and sleeplessness. Yeah. You got to call. You got to text. You got to finish it. You, you know, know they say I mean? don't go to bed angry. I know, because no. what if you wake up and like, yeah, something bad. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I never even thought of it like that. Like, I was thinking more dark. Yeah, yeah, dark. <laughs> yeah it's really dark. <laughs> but it's like you can't get past any of your issues if you just go to bed angry because then you, you take it home with you. True. Also, it's kind of like, um, you know, in uh, like a romantic comedy, yeah. when you're watching it and the person like doesn't reach out at the key moment yeah. and you're like, ah, oh. yeah, and, and, and then it, the person. that same night they get with someone else. Yeah, and you, and you kind of miss your chance. You miss your chance. Yeah. Don't miss your That's the truth. Don't be Kids. a romantic comedy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now it's your turn. Okay. Um, if you had to sleep all night with, and I'm going to amend this slightly, a non-human animal. Okay. Which animal would that be? A non-human animal. I mean, because we're, you know, we're animals. Yeah. Oh, that's true. So that, I just wanted, I didn't want you to... Okay, like, what animal could I fall asleep with? Yeah, there we go. Like, um, tough question because the cutest animal in my opinion is a panda. <laughs> and I would love to fall asleep with a panda, but they're not very nice. No claws. Yeah, dangerous. But, and I wouldn't say declawed because that's not fair. Right. Mittens? That's not bad. Panda with, uh, panda with mittens. <laughs> um, so either a panda with mittens or... My cat. My cat Stanley is like, I think I showed a, yeah. you a picture Stop of him. big. Yeah, he's big and cuddly. And uh, in fact, I've fallen asleep with him before and he likes to suck on your earlobes. It's weird. That's really yeah. nuts. Yeah, you wake up and he's sucking on your earlobes. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice. I like going to sleep okay, with Stanley. Okay, Stanley. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out. All right, how about this okay. one? If you could choose whomever you want, who would write a lullaby for you? Oh, that's a really good question. I'm not sure if that includes them singing it to you. For me. But they would write it for you. Okay. You know what's kind of crazy? So um, my friend was showing me this show that is called The Affair or something. I think I've heard of it. It's new. I think it like yeah. won <clears throat> some award or something like this. Anyway, but she was like, you should check it out. And you should check out the theme song, which is weird. written by Fiona Apple. And it's oh. really like haunting and weird and like sparse. Oh. So I'm going to pick that. I'm going to pick Fiona Apple. Fiona yeah, Apple, think, all right. It'd be dark, but like still nice. She's a sweet voice. Yeah. It carries it really nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. I like the Apple. Okay. If an album could become a person, which album would you like to have sex with? <laughs> Sorry. Wow. How to get you to blush. Baby. No, I hate. You know what? Um, probably there's two that you'd get different things out of it. Um, one would be Joshua Tree, a classic. Super Probably classic. very handsome, yeah. um, timeless, right. timeless good looks, you know. Mm -hmm. Or um, Rage Against the Machine's first album, just self-titled Rage Against yeah. the Machine. That would be like the the one night you wouldn't forget, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. Stanley so might even three. show up. <laughs> yeah, that, that would it's get like crazy. Or like a panda of mittens. I don't even know. It'd get crazy though. <laughs> but uh, that would be the two. Okay, those are good answers. That I would pick. Yeah, you might yeah. marry Joshua. Might marry Tree. Joshua Tree. Go home with Rage Against yeah. the Machine. Yeah, and, and have a night that you know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that would be. I'm into it. it. Okay. Do you have a trick to fall asleep? Drink wine. Um, that's good. <laughs> drink till you can't remember yeah, what's that, happening. That seems to be a, um, a, a trick on tour for sure. Yeah, that or um, you know, I think p utter pitch blackness if it can be achieved, which is one of the good things about being on a bus. Yeah. It really helps me. You're in a cave. Yeah, like yeah. blackout curtains. Do you like to have white noise or something happening? Or can yes. you fall asleep when it's silent? Because I can't. No, 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 no. Yeah. Fan. Yeah. I have a thing on my phone. Do you have a machine? I, I go to YouTube. You can get like 10 hours of streaming white noise. You should get the app. There's an app? Dude, there's That's an app amazing. Right what? Yeah. That's great. It's can called... you pick like brown noise or pink noise or white noise? Yeah, there's like different. Well, um, the one that I have is more nature-based. Oh, that's nice. So it's like there's waterfall, rain. Wow. And you use it every night? I, I sleep to it every night. That's amazing. I'll show you. Wow. That's cool. That's a trick. That's a trick. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Shit. Okay. Hold on. Hold. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm actually going to download that. because I'm going to show it to you. Okay. 
I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to add to it, though, because okay. I'm curious. Right, okay. Like Do you have a notebook beside your bed? And then also, I'm going to add to that. Do you normally write out most of your lyrics? Do you type them? Like, what's your... It's a good question. Okay. I used to write them all the time, and, and it was really nice because you'd have notebooks full of actual writing, and the right. songs were there, and you can post them on Tumblr. It's great. But yeah, I, I type everything now. And the notebook beside my bed, actually, when I was writing this record, I made myself write a poem every night, and that was in a physical notebook because there's something really cool yeah. about that. So it was full of like really nonsensical poems. But um, cause you can do poems like free verse, and it's just like verbal diarrhea. You can say whatever. Yeah. But uh, my ultimately now it's my phone. You open up a memo and there's an ongoing lyric memo that you just put ideas into all the time. So that's always there at all times of the day so you can put down ideas. And then when it comes time to write songs, I'm usually typing them up on my laptop. How about you? I'm curious. Um, I'm a typer. I've actually never handwritten like a single Dude, lyric. Is your writing shit? Because mine's shit. Like handwriting. my penmanship? Yeah. No, my penmanship's good. Really? Mm-hmm. So strangely, I just... So you've written before? Yeah, like um, my penmanship is kind of... I'll show it to you. It's yeah. sort of like a font. It's not That's always nice. that great, but yeah. it's pretty consistent. Okay. That's but nice. yeah, I always type everything. Yeah, me too. It's just because we can it's revise kind of, it. Yeah, exactly. And print it. But and email it. And email it. Yeah, because everyone wants lyrics. I know. Hey, send that song over with the lyrics. Oh, I've got to type it up. I don't, I don't ever even bother no, writing it anymore. Gonna scan it. No. But I, I seriously used to write in notebooks all the time, and like... Some of the songs off my first album, I have like literally the, the working pages, That's cool. and it's like a good memento. And yeah. I wish I still did it like that, but I don't. That's really cool. Yeah. What's your favorite worst nightmare? Okay, hold up. Um, so it's, it's a kind of trick question because nightmares you don't really like, but what's your favorite one? Um, well, okay, in a perverse way, I guess my favorite one. I actually had a nightmare last night. Oh no. So, yeah. No. Um, it was about, about it. today. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So the nightmare, like the my favorite worst nightmare is a I have forgotten something, or I've been I'm late to something. Okay. So and, and actually I was late to this. So my worst That's, nightmare. This speaks <laughs> this speaks multitudes of your of your personality. The things that make you worried, like um, gigmares. Like I always have gigmares. Like before you start oh, going really? on tour, you know. I've never had that, but I have late. Like literally, my thing is being late. <laughs> really. Or that I forgot the thing I was supposed to bring. Like, I had this nightmare the other day um, that I got to the, a classroom, and I was like, I, I, there was horrible traffic, and I was like a minute late, and the way that the attendance record worked was that if you were even a minute late, even if you were there for the rest of the two-hour lecture, it didn't count. You had to be there before the start time. Because you, like, you have your master's, though. And you I was like, like, no, 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 just just college. But I was... Yeah, but so you went to you went to college and everything, so you've experienced I've never been to college. Yeah, yeah well, and the thing is, nobody cares. Yeah. So I don't know why, it's not a realistic dream, but... um. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's my, like... That's your thing? Yeah, being hmm. late. That's good, though. I that guess. means that you always try to be on time, because I don't really care that much. That's, and that's a, a problem. No, that's no, good. No, problem. good. I have nightmares about... So, wait, that's your favorite nightmare? Well, only because then I wake up, and I'm like, oh, okay. that didn't happen. No, for sure. Yeah. That's right. Oh, like, the relief. Yeah. I can't yeah. think of a good nightmare. Yeah. You have a good one? Well, no, you're right. There's no nightmares you like, but you're the relief after. Like, the ones I get always get are my teeth crumbling out. Oh. Or, like, growing a mustache. <laughs> it's the worst. Like, you look in the mirror and you have, like, a Yosemite Sam mustache. It's got to come back, come from some, like, insecurity. A but then mustache. I wake up and I'm just like, oh, thank God. Thank God. That's it's horrifying. An, it's the worst. And it's, like, recurring. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's really it's the terrible. worst. Or, like, yeah, you, like, bite something and all your teeth crumble out. That's a thing, too. I think it's, like, like, like stress or um, anxiety. Like, that. Yeah. I, I don't feel that anxious. So but maybe... maybe. Yeah. No, internally. Oh, I can't believe no. Or mustache. like gig mares before tour where like no, nothing's working and then no one turns up and then two songs in you forget all the lyrics and everyone leaves. <laughs> all the time. Sounds like my Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, sounds like every night. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is uh this is my last one. And it's a it's a, a possibly transcendental question. Okay, okay, I'm ready. If your bed was a gateway into another world where would it lead to? Wow. And again, with See a good mic drop. Game over. Oh. <laughs> if my bed was like a portal into another world, oh my goodness. I mean, aside from Dreamland, which it is. Correct. I would say, uh, I would say like either Azeroth, which is like the world of Warcraft. 
Okay. The world uh, in the world of Warcraft. Hit me with that because I don't know what that. I know Warcraft well, is a game and it's yeah. on the computer. Yeah, it's a world though. It's a world, right. and, and you have Azeroth, which is the mainland. Then you have Northrend, which is like a new territory that was added. And there's a lot of okay. really cool places to go. But there's the cool thing about being ported into like a video game environment is that there's a little bit of everything. There's always like a beach. So there's always a desert. There's always a rainforest. There's always like a crystal cave. Okay. Probably the crystal caves of Angoro Crater I would get transported to. No, here's the question. Isn't the war, like it's a, there's conflict, correct? Well, it's not like, like you can PvE, or PvP, which is person versus person. You can actually go into battlegrounds and fight other people. But I've never okay. been like a PvPer. I'm okay. always more PvE, which is person versus environment. And you get to do quests. It's more like a role-playing experience. Got it. Okay. And and so, it, I mean, yeah, there's conflicts. Like you fight monsters, and but right. you're not necessarily killing it's more like other life. players. It's like life. You're battling everyday monsters. You're killing pigs, killing hogs to level up. Okay. Yeah. Do you eat the pigs? You can. You cool. Can. Yeah. yeah. You can do I anything. get on this yeah, game. Yeah, you get in. I haven't actually played in a long time. I really... <laughs> but you know what? I played okay. for so many years that the Blizzard, the company, the developers made an in-game item named after me. <gasps> That's so They're called cool. the Pox Lightner Leggings of Lights, and they're Holy Paladin Leggings. But Did you get them? No. Like- they're like a rare drop. But, um, yeah, I kind of saw, I, I hadn't played for a long time, and now I have to get back in there and play. It's a new expansion, that was great. So here's a question, and then um, I'm going to end it with this question, and then we have a final question that both of us are going to answer. This one's just for you. Okay. If you did not need any sleep, what would you do with the extra time? Oh, man. Um, I would just do everything that I did, like, more of it. <laughs> That's good. That's you know good. what I mean? I you wish... spend so much time sleeping. Yeah, it's such a waste. Um, yeah. I would... I don't know how we need it. I would read more. I would read, like... Say I read like one book a week. I read two books a week. Have you heard of the book that's called um, "It's the End of the World as We Snow It"? But I feel fine if I find you mean yes. miserable. I have heard of this <laughs> Volume book. Seven, right? We just got a book <laughs> yeah. on the bus. Uh, a buddy of ours uh, wrote. I think he has trouble sleeping too, as for some of the excerpts. <laughs> oh that yeah, read. absolutely. But I would read. T- uh, volume seven and volume eight. You know, I would read one through six first, probably well, to get prepared yeah, no, for no, no, it. Totally, it's amazing. but. Uh, so the last question for both of us, which monster sleeps under your bed? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Um, the monster that sleeps under my bed is, uh, so when I was a child, I was very intensely afraid of E.T., the extraterrestrial. The, very, very the fr- scary. The friendly guy, I, I realize He's now freaky. in retrospect, but he was very scary. Looks like a lamp. So I created this, <laughs> it does look like a lamp. Like of those, the ones yeah, the from Ikea. Ones, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I I made a version of him in my mind where he had like um, so you know like a robot with a triangular conveyor belt bottom. Yep. That, but with E. T. up top, <laughs> and he just kind of rolled around like, hunting me down, <gasps> which was really terrifying. Like that it, is scary. Yeah, because it's like half half alien, oh. half um half machine. I think you gave me a new and I know nightmare. and I'm still and actually so fun fact um, I was I was not able to sleep on a, my side until I was maybe like 17 years old um, why because I felt that if I slept on my side I'd wake up and ET would be on my backside so I had to sleep on my back which incidentally is really good for your back and posture and good for your skin and well I didn't even know that yeah. good for your I think skin. isn't it like when you sleep on your back your face goes back like that maybe gravity yeah <laughs> <laughs> Gravity at it. Well, so why would he be on your back? Because I I don't know. I just couldn't see. So okay, like yeah. it was the that. And would he be like like spooning you or? Yeah. Yeah. And like just when you look over, you're like. <sighs> That's terrifying. Yeah, that's scary. Wow. Okay. Well. What what's your what's your monster under your bed? I don't know if you can top. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Really, I don't think I can top a robot you see that spoons you. What's your metaphorical monster under your bed? Metaphorical. Monster under my bed is I don't even know. This is digging deep here. Um, I don't know. I have to think about this one. There's a lot. There's a lot of different layers of like fear for me, and, and for me, I don't know. Like losing someone you love. Like I, you go to sleep wanting, especially now that I'm a mom, and and yeah. every every minute you're worried about something that could happen, and it's. You know, it's not something I ever experienced before I became a mom necessarily. Like, you don't, you're a bit more reckless with your life, but totally. but now it's like everything matters and every little thing um, you just want to be able to prevent or hold, 
you know, stop. So I, I get why moms are like, no, don't climb up on that thing, blah, blah, blah. It's like you just picture the worst thing happening all the time. So um, I think that that would be currently one of those things that just keeps coming back. That, that is scary. It is kind of amazing. I think about this all the time. Despite all of the, the, the like, think of in any given day how many things could go wrong. I know. And usually I they I think about don't. that now all the time. I know, but like, ugh. Like you could get in a car accident. This lamp could fall over and light this place on fire. I could get out of this bed and roll my ankle. Well, Probably, but we don't let it happen, right? <laughs> no, I know. It's just, it's just so weird. Like, it's scary. It's just scary. Yeah. My best friend just had a baby, like, a little bit yeah. younger. And she's like, dude, I'm, like, a st- I'm like stressed You get all the time. totally. Like, and even when I'm holding her and I'm, like, standing by a bridge, you think of all these scenarios and then you just step back a little bit. It's just kind of a parent instinct, I guess. But it, it, it haunts you all the time. Well, kids, don't do drugs. You know what? Or, you know, I, we can't say that much, but <laughs> but just remember that your parents, you'll probably become a parent, statistically, you'll probably become a parent one day too. Yeah. And then you'll be stressed and then you'll understand yes. why your parents give are Give your parents you a break. break. Yeah, give them yeah. a break. Yeah, they love you. They love you. We, we, we do too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we love you too. All right, bye. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Wait, there's ET on your back. <laughs> <laughs>